So yeah, Photion technology, uh, we're manufacturers of uh, LED lamps, technology that we introduced back now, near, well, 20 years ago now. So we've been at this a long time. Uh, we've done a lot of um, integrating of our technology into lots of different print platforms, but also lots of coating technologies. You probably don't know, but most of the world's fiber optic cables are now coated using our, our LED technology at 3,000 meters a minute, so 180 kilometers an hour. Um, so we're in lots of different applications. We, we share some customers with, um, with, uh, with Archipelago on wood coatings and things like that. So we're in lots and lots of different areas. But one of the things that's really important is that we're enabling through our technology from switching from older forms of uh, mercury-based technologies to LED technologies, which use considerably less energy. So it's kind of interesting, and to use Guy's uh, analogy with the Teslas, we reckon that in the 20 years that we've existed, we've shipped about 150,000 lamps, maybe nearly 200,000 by now, since the slide was done. And we've saved in the region of five million tons of CO2, if you compare like for like technologies, which in Guy's analogy would, would equate to two and a half million Teslas or 125,000 Teslas a year. So just to give you an idea. So these technologies can have a very big impact on the environment and, and they can have a big impact too on people's operating expenses. So the idea here of, of switching from the older mercury style technologies is about pollution prevention, where we're reducing energy consumption by 50 to 80%, about waste reduction, no spare parts, no mercury in the eco-friendly, uh, and like we said, energy savings of, uh, well, pollution prevention and then energy savings, and no mercury, uh, which are key factors about why this technology is attractive to people. So sustainability is something also now that we're seeing is going off of just, you know, it used to be just like a mission statement on a, on a CEO's report somewhere. But people now are actually being audited in terms of their sustainability objectives. Are they meeting their targets? They're part of their business plan. They've, uh, they've you know, actually got financial metrics that they actually check against. I have a son who's an accountant uh, for Deloitte, and he said they actually do check now on audited statements about people's sustainability, where that is on their balance books and how they're actually uh, managing that. So anything that you can do to work with these people to bring on, you know, uh, help them achieve their sustainability objectives is, is of a lot of interest nowadays. Uh, more and more now we're attending meetings with you know, large uh, brand owners where one person present will be the director of sustainability. Uh, and he's there with the, the head of production or manufacturing. And so these people have a lot of power within the company, within those companies. So how to create sustainable print technology? It's a little bit about the theme of what we wanted to talk about. So through collaboration, cooperation, and commitment, people can make change happen. We've seen that. So we know how that works. Sustainability has always been an ethical imperative, we feel, uh, but now it is an economic necessity as well. Fosion Technology uh, and ecosystem partners have been uh, looking closely how to create sustainable uh, technology and processes. So we work very closely with our customers to, so when they design their equipment, they can integrate our technology and produce the most sustainable processes. We have a very broad perspective when it comes to the print industry. As I said, we deal with screen printing, digital, inkjet, flexographic, label printing, some offset printing. But we also have a big impact on all the coatings, adhesives, and bonding applications uh, as well. So creating a sustainable print process. So if we need to create a, a, a truly sustainable print process, uh, it requires analysis of the entire business cycle, right? So we need to look at uh, how we move. So our goal is to get from you know, this linear to a circular economy so that we're reusing. And I suppose 
Foson UV LED, we see it's an important component in the entire print process. And so we should also consider also the facilities, obviously, and the materials, working practices, uh, and the uh, materials in terms of reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, working practices, so we know that a sustainable process is a clean process is a good working environment as well. So these are important considerations. Uh, brand owners, every global brand has a sustainability initiative, as I mentioned before. So this is a really important part of what we're trying to sell, you know, as in all these companies here. So using one of our latest technologies here on a flexographic printing process, it takes a couple of days to retrofit a press and you can cut the energy consumption of a press light by 70, 80 percent just in three days for a small investment which probably pays back nowadays with the energy costs the way they are within a year, easily. So you know, these are the things that we're doing and how we're creating uh, differentiation for our customers in the marketplace. So water-cooled systems, these are air-cooled systems, so they don't even need a chiller anymore. Uh, the, like I said, the ROIs for these are now less than 12 months. We have fitted hundreds of these lamps now, so this technology is proven and effective. We've done it all over the world. And over the life of a press, you can save nearly three quarters of a million euros in operating costs over the life of a press. So, you know, the installation, typical installation on, on, on a press is probably less than 100,000 euros. And you can save about three quarters of a million over the operating price, uh, life of the press. So these are important economic considerations nowadays for people, and they help drive you know, the sustainability, the reduction in energy consumption, and obviously help the environment. So we think it's a very sustainable technology. There's no mercury, no greenhouse gases, and significant uh, energy reduction. So important considerations for all of us. So we have our own sustainability statement. You can read what it says. Uh, but it allows us to contribute to your sus corporate sustainability programs. Uh, and we can do this straight away. We can retrofit presses. We can get designed in on new equipment. Uh, most of the, uh, when we started 20 years ago, uh, you know, we were laughed at. You know, it's a bit like the, the slide of the, the physicists about you know, planes will never fly and light bulbs will never work. When I stood at conferences 20 years ago and people telling me well, that will never work. And uh, Mark, you were there. <laughs> and we were told it would never work. And now, you know, we ship tens of thousands of lamps a year. We're on most printing platforms. The whole industry, certainly the digital industry, is dominated by LED technology. So it has changed. It can change. It takes cooperation. It takes a lot of hard work. But things can change. And so that's you know, the message I think we want to deliver is that you know, the constant innovation, constant change, things like Guy's doing, they can happen and they do work. So thank you very much.